In today's Photoshop tutorial, we are going to apply a pencil sketch effect to an image. First, open the image you would like to use. A link to the image I use can be found in the description below. Since we are going to be working with a few different layers, change the name of the image layer to main. We now need to create a new fill layer. Click Layer, select New Fill Layer, click Solid Color, name the layer Paper. Then click OK. Select a light gray color from the color picker. Then click OK. Now we are going to add a texture layer. Click Layer. Select New Fill Layer. Then click Pattern. Name the new layer Texture. Then click OK. From the Pattern Fill option, select Gray Granite. Then click OK. The new texture layer should be above the paper layer. Make sure the texture layer is selected and change the opacity to 50% and change the blend mode to multiply. The texture layer will be blended into the paper layer. Now make a copy of the main image layer. Select the main image layer, click layer, then click duplicate layer. Name this layer Outline. Then click OK. Move the outline layer to the top of all the layers. We now need an outline reference for when we start sketching. Click Filter. Then click Gallery Filter. Select the Glowing Edge option. Then click OK. The image should now be mostly black with just the basic features of the image showing. We are now going to invert the image. Make sure the outline layer is selected. Click Image, select Adjustments, then click Invert. Now the image will have some details on a white background. Now we need to remove the color from the image. Click Image, select Adjustment, then click Desaturate. With the outline layer still selected, change the opacity to 50% and set the blend mode to multiply. The outline layer will now blend into the texture layer. Like we did before, we need to duplicate the main image layer. Select the main image layer, click Layer, then click Duplicate Layer. Name this layer Sketch, then click OK. Move the sketch layer to the top of all the layers. We now need to change the image to black and white. Click Image. Select Adjustments. Click Black and White. From the Preset option, select High Contrast Blue Filter. Now we need to add a layer mask. With the sketch layer still selected, click the Add Layer Mask from the bottom of the layer panel. If the layer mask is white, click Ctrl-I for Windows or Command-I for Mac to invert it to black. The image should now be hidden and only the outline showing. Select the brush tool, change the brush size to 300 pixel, then select the flat curve brush. Make sure the foreground color is set to white. If the foreground color is not set to white, press D to reset it to white. Now make sure the sketch layer is active and the layer mass is selected. Now it's time for us to start sketching the image. Click and hold the left mouse button and drag the brush across the image with broad strokes. Do not move the brush in one direction, move the brush in different directions. Before moving the brush in a different direction, release the mouse button. Press and hold the mouse button again and move the brush in a different direction. If you make a mistake, press the X to change the brush to black and paint over the brush strokes. To switch back to the white brush, press X again. You can expose as much or as little of the black and white image as you would like. Just do not brush over one section too much because you will lose the sketch effect.
Once you are finished applying the brush strokes and is happy with how the image looks, the final step is to change the opacity of the outline layer to 20%. This will reduce the impact of the hard outlines. And there you have it. You just apply the pencil sketch to an image using Photoshop. If you would like a written version of this tutorial, there is a link below in the description. If you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. Thank you for watching.